Hello, my art-loving friends. I am leaving for a five-day trip, and I thought I'd show you my new art kit. At least it's going to be my new art kit because I know I've packed for travel with you guys a lot on this channel. I'll put that playlist up there. But this time is different because I have this very special bag. Now this is a bag my mom made when she was a teenager, and I assume it was from a kit. So she had to stamp the leather and do all the stitching and put the clips on, but she made this. And I don't use purses like this. I have a very tiny little thing that I carry with me that I call a purse. So this is too big for a purse, but I thought it would be perfect for an art kit. And it's so darn pretty and cute, and at least it would get some use and love instead of just sitting on my shelf, rotting away. <laughs> so there's some things inside of it that I'll probably take out. There's this, I assume it's supposed to be a glasses case. It's kind of small though, so it'd probably be like little tiny reading glasses or something. And this one is even smaller. So I don't think I have a use for these yet, at least not that I have remembered. <laughs> yeah, so this was her little practice piece before she started it, I guess. That's so cute. Okay, so these I'm just going to put back on the shelf. Maybe I can find a use for them at some point in the future, hopefully. And make this, oh, there's another thing. This is a wallet. Now I know her brother also made some leather, so this might be, oh no, this says Mexico. So I don't know if they made this or if this was purchased, but anyway, it was in there. It's kind of neat, but we'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna use that this trip or not. So we have a zipper pocket here. You open it up to a bigger compartment and you unzip this to a fairly large compartment and a big compartment back there with a little coin purse, but we could put something else in that. And then it does have a handle here. Okay, a handle. And on the back, there's also a little zipper compartment that has a nail file in it. So I'm going to try to keep this trip pretty simple, except Nothing is simple with the, I wanna bring all the art stuff, that's the problem. But I thought this would be a good trip to break out the accordion sketchbook because one of you made the suggestion of using it for a trip and I thought it'd be really fun to do like a day here and then somehow try to make it connect to the next day and then the next day and like then when you open it up, like all the rocks will connect because we'll be in a lot of rocks, rock crawling. So I thought that would be fun and it would be a good opportunity to try one of these out since I have three this size and one bigger one that was gifted to me. The bigger one's scary. No, it's not that scary. It's just that I don't think it'll fit in here. So I'm going to use the small one. I usually put these in a Ziploc bag. So I may do that, although this leather would probably protect it pretty well, but it is open on the edges. So this could go, yeah, this could go in here in the zipper compartment though. Ta-da! And then going to bring my A to Z sketchbook. I haven't worked on it in far too long. So we're gonna put that in there and hope that I can at least finish the one I started. We'll see if it fits. Ooh, not there. Not without pushing the limits there. Uh-oh. So, okay, it's just, yeah, it's shallower than I think, but it does fit because it doesn't go all the way through when it clips, so probably will put that one in a Ziploc. <laughs> and then three water brushes because I don't always have the time to stop, pour a cup of water, and use a real brush, so these water brushes will go. I actually need to fill one up, so I'm not gonna put those in a Ziploc yet, but I'll have those in a Ziploc and we'll put them in there somewhere. I'll show you that in a minute. And then I have to decide among the paint. I was really tempted to take this Da Vinci set that I just set up. There's so many beautiful colors and I haven't gotten to use this paint much and I'm very curious about it. I wanna try it some more, but it's kind of big, kind of heavy. I mean, it, it's still compact, but I think it's too wide for the purse. And that's going to decide it. Plus I kind of had another idea anyway. Thought about taking this. I've used Mission Gold a lot lately though, so I kind of wanted to try a different paint. So I'm not going to take that, but it does fit. So I think I'm gonna take my Egallo. Let's see if I still have trouble layering with them like I did the first time or not. Cute little compact case, beautiful colors, and it goes. And then 
my hemimia, I have to take that because I'm using them up, right? So let's see, actually, if I put the hemimia back there with the sketchbook, that there, then my water brushes can go there, and all I need to add, if I'm remembering correctly, would be some kind of rag like that. And maybe I'll just put snack or something in the zipper compartment. I don't even know. Okay, well, we're going to call that a plan. So I just need to go get a rag and I'll share some of my trip with you if I can. Okay, I have a bamboo paper towel for absorbency, like dabbing my brush off. Two regular paper towels for dabbing things up because these are too soft. Like if you need to pull out clouds or lift paint, that, that's just too soft. So those will go in there. I'm going to see if they'll go in here with that, maybe. Actually, I'll just lay them on top right there. And I think I'll throw this in my clothes bag, but I won't bring it like in the truck every day with me. It's just if we're back at home and I want to paint home being our home base, then I can use a regular cup. Something I wanted to show you with, ah, <laughs> stuff to fill those with water. With the paint kit though is I was able to fit the travel brush in here. You see that? It's a little hard to get out though, so, <laughs> cause it's kind of wedged. So you have to just take something and wedge it out but it's a good size and I actually, I think I forgot to try it out when I was playing with the A. Gallo paints originally. So it might be kind of fun to try. And it's nice that it fits in the palette even though you kind of have to push it. <laughs> it still fits. So I do have a regular brush and that's the only brushes I'm going to bring and see what happens. I am going to toss this pencil and this micron in the bag too. Forgot about that almost. It would be nice to have a pencil, maybe even a micron. Well, ironically, a few trips have gone by. I did not use this that I packed up and showed you guys so diligently. And it's been unpacked so that I could use it with other things. And now I have another trip coming up. Hey, I've been looking for that eraser everywhere. Jeez Louise. <laughs> so I have been dying to paint with my core paints and I actually forgot them when I went to class the other day and it was such a disappointment. I was really looking forward to painting with them. So for this trip, I am bringing this core mini palette. It has these beautiful colors in it. Aren't they gorgeous? I'm really hoping to use this sketchbook up eventually. It's getting there. It's not even halfway. Okay, it's not getting there. That's all right. Question is, does it even fit in my travel thing? Not even a little bit. Well, maybe we won't bring that this time. And then I didn't even think about that. You guys, I think I broke my no buy and I didn't even know I did it. Isn't that silly? Anyway, I saw these things and they're pen holders to go on books. And I thought, oh, that's perfect. I can get those, they can go on my books. And then I thought, oh, I'll get one for my sketchbook to put my water brush in. Doesn't even fit. <laughs> that figures. <laughs> oh my goodness, it doesn't even fit around the little one. Well, maybe I didn't break my no buy because I don't even think these are gonna work, but I thought it would be so cool to put around the sketchbook and then you can just put your water brush in and everything would be all in one. However, I would have to modify this elastic quite drastically in order for this to even work. But what a good idea initially, right? I know this sketchbook is a mess, it's dirty. Well, dang. Well, I could probably return these because they are not even close to what I was hoping to use them for. Darn. Because of that, I think I'm going to rethink this whole process. Am I? I don't know. Give me some time. I need to think about this. Okay, I think I am just gonna take the smaller sketchbook because I also want to use this one up, right? And it'll fit in my original case. So this sketchbook, bye-bye. This sketchbook gets loaded again. I'm so excited to use my core mini palette. Put that in there. Wow. And I have three water brushes so I can just sketch it anytime without having to dump water into a container. My pencil and fine liner, eraser, rags, and I'm good to paint. Well, we'll see if I actually paint this trip or not. I tend to be like really busy during these trips and not paint at all, but I love this case. I think I'll have time this time. Wish me luck. Well, we are here in the desert, but it's a horrible, horrible windstorm. In fact, we had dust fly through here 
so hard a second ago that it was just horrendous. I know it doesn't seem like it right now because you can't see the dust through the camera, but can you hear the wind? It's horrible. So we can't go play outside like we want to on our dirt. Well, we could, we could go on our dirt bikes, but we have a little work to do on them first and no one wants to do that in a windstorm. So I have this book with me and I am just dying to paint with my core paints. So this book is not made for watercolor and I don't care. So I think what I might do is like maybe paint the background of this page here. I think that would be fun and just see how it does with color. Maybe this one, who knows? Okay, so here's a good example of the dust. This was in this bag, in it. And this bag was on the bed in my camper bedroom under the covers. So how did all this dust, look at this. How did all that dust get on this? Holy moly. Bad dust here, bad dust. I didn't even bring any regular brushes. I have this water brush. Well, and those two. So let's see how it does on these tulips. I don't know if I can hold the phone and paint at the same time. Oh, wow. You have to love core paints. They're just so intense. I felt like I didn't even hardly get any paint and we have a ton. Oh, are those the only tulips I have? That's disappointing. Tulips are my favorite flower. Well, where else can we put all this red on the brush? I don't know. I'll just paint a little on my own and let you guys know how it goes. I'll show you towards the end. Okay, it's literally been maybe 30 seconds and I wanted to show you because this is not watercolor paper. This paint goes on really vibrant. Let me show you a fresh bit here, like that. And then it just soaks through the paper. Look at that, it is kind of coming through. And where's that other flower right there? So I was hoping this paper would stand up to a little bit of watercolor, but we're going to, have to be really gentle, I think. And the colors are going to become way less vibrant because they're just soaking in the paper. So we're not going to have very vibrant stuff going on, but I don't have any markers with me. So that is what it is. I think Tori might have some markers with her though. I'll have to ask her. from that desert trip I had one day at home and then my brother was having surgery so I just packed that exact same bag without my 30 days of creativity book sadly and brought it with us to the hospital and I did this cute little page with those stripes because I just wanted to play with my colors I wasn't sure what to paint and then I really wanted to use the pyro scarlet that was in my core mini kit and I don't usually paint flowers much, but for some reason I know that core spreads really well in water. So I wanted to put the water down first and then I realized I loaded my brush with the paint first instead. And I was like, oh shoot, what a waste. <laughs> so I'm squeezing it out and then I'll squeeze out some water on this little sketchbook paper. And oh my goodness, this paper has really dried out a lot since I've bought it. So it, I guess it will dry out even more. At least it seems like it just is soaking up the water. But I've had this sketchbook for several years now, so it's no surprise living in dry, dry Colorado. But watch this. Watch this spread. Oh, it's so pretty. So then I dab in some more and get it to spread some more. And then I want to do some highlights on the tips of the petal there. You will see that real quick. And then I'm going to finish this without the camera running because I was having a heck of a time trying to hold the camera and paint at the same time. But I did end up with a lot of paint left over in the water brush and I didn't want to keep dabbing it off so I would flip the page and kind of put the paint on the next page. But here's the setup and all the three pages when I'm done, except I end up not being done. Look at those flowers, they're actually kind of pretty. And then this is the like scrap page. And then after this I decide to take out my micron and make it into fun stuff. So that is the extent. I did three pages and 
probably four different trips. So it's, and I did all three of them sitting here in the hospital in one go. So I <laughs> didn't, didn't do much with it except for that Joanna Basford page that I'll show you in next week's video. So thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have a great week and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye for now. Do I need to video you, Jack? Are you going to fall off the couch like you almost did? Why are you biting your own foot? Jack. Hi. Are you handsome boy? Hmm?